Hey guys, Little Gecko Productions here, and in today's video we're talking about the trouble of procrastination. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is actually, today I was scheduled to make a tutorial video, but the reason why you're getting this video is because of procrastination itself. Right now, I don't know what this video is going to look like, I don't know what I'm going to say, I'm honestly coming up with the stuff I'm going to say as it's coming out of my mouth. And the reason for this is because of procrastination. My background is messy and my hair probably is too and the reason for this is procrastination the lighting is probably darker the sun has nearly set and the reason for that is procrastination the reason why my garage door is opening right now is and you can hear that is because I'm filming when my family is getting home and because of that the reason why I'm doing that is procrastination the reason why all these things are happening and why this is happening is because I procrastinated making my videos and that's something that I've been doing a lot recently um, and it's it's terrible it's a horrible horrible thing it's almost a disease procrastination kills success it is the poison to success I've written out a schedule for myself to keep myself on task where I can film a video and start editing it one day, finish the edit and upload the other day, and then I'll have uh, one day to relax. I, it, it, in theory, it should work really well, but I haven't stuck to it once. I have not made a single video on that schedule. And there's plenty of excuses. I need to study for tests. I need to have a social life. I want to relax sometimes. But what it really comes down to most of the time is I want to sit on my couch or sit in my bed and watch either YouTube videos or Netflix. It's honestly a terrible disease and it, it will not get you anywhere. My videos on this channel for the past few months have every single one of them has been shoot I need to hurry up and get a video out before my deadline. And while sometimes it's good to be under pressure and um, you can it can push different creative things, but if you're like that all the time, like it has been for me pretty recently, then it begins to limit you instead of maybe give you just some added pressure. My school had me go on this trip with their uh, corral to film that and then to, to make a video about it. And that was a few weeks ago and I made a promotional video for the event that they were preparing for and then I haven't touched the footage since. Tomorrow is the last assembly of our school and hopefully I can show that video. I haven't started it, so tonight is gonna be a long night of editing. And I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. And this, there have been multiple opportunities where I've thought, oh, I should probably go work on that video, but I didn't. And that it's gonna hurt, if, I, if I'm not able to finish it, it's going to hurt my reputation and it's just going to negatively affect me in many ways. Even if I do finish it, a video that I crank out in one night can't possibly be as amazing as a video that I have spent maybe a week on. So sometimes it's okay to procrastinate. It can give you some added pressure, some, some uh, creativity that you might not have otherwise gotten when you're in a pinch. You need, oh, I need to figure something out in a different way that won't take as long and maybe that can be better, but also those shortcuts could also be harmful. And so it's something that you really need to think about and take into consideration. You need to plan out what house, because I'm not, I'm not a planner. I, um, I'm in an English class where my teacher is always telling me to plan out essays before I write them. And for me, I, that just doesn't work for me. I just know what I'm going to say as I'm writing it. So I, I'm just not a planner, but recently with this YouTube channel and with videos that I've been making, I've found that it's, even if you're not a planner, it's necessary. When you're working on a lot of things, it's necessary to plan and figure out how you're going to do it and how you're going to manage your time. So that's kind of my nugget of knowledge today, I guess. Be aware if you're procrastinating, and if you do procrastinate, Make sure that you at least leave enough time to where you know that you'll be able to f complete your task. So be aware of it, think about it, figure out, know yourself, figure out what you can do, and 
just plan ahead and stay on task. There's some advice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Tell me your favorite part of the video. Um, if you agree with me, if you, if you procrastinate or if you don't procrastinate. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.